I've said this forever is that grades do not tell the story of a child, but we continuously try to tell the story only through grades for the next phase of their lives. And if you think about hiring practices, we often say, oh, what about grades? Well, I hired lots of people to work in school and never use grades, right? And so I think when we look at portfolios, we can create something much more holistic, much more uh, all encompassing of who our students are and not waiting for universities to ask us for this, but saying like, hey, this is something we're doing. This would probably be better to actually have an understanding of, you know, who's attending your school and who's getting into that space and, and creating something different, right? And it's just one example of things you can do. But when I was talking to Catlin, I had shared this story about Roger Bannister. And for those of you who don't know Roger Bannister, uh, basically he is the first person to break the four minute mile mark. And at the time he was actually, um, was striving to do this. And it was believed to be an impossible feat that nobody could ever break the four minute mile. In fact, um, from what I've been reading about it, people thought that if you ran that fast a mile, your heart would literally explode that um, you would die because it was just too ridiculous. And he kept striving for this and people thought, you know, the conditions had to be perfect. And on a day he actually had um, run the race conditions were it was cold, it was wet from, you know, what I've read, obviously I didn't see the race. It was a long time ago, um, but he broke the four minute mile. And all of a sudden something that people believed was not possible, all of a sudden was proven to be possible. And when I talk about those practices in education, I think sometimes people will say, well, we can't do this because of this and this. And then, and then somebody does it. And then all of a sudden it becomes a norm. It becomes a practice. And the Roger Bannister story is really interesting because uh, it actually was believed that he couldn't do it. He wouldn't be able to do this. And it actually, I'm reading this and said 46 days uh, after Bannister's feet, John Landy, an Australian runner, not only broke the barrier again, um, but he did it even faster. So what was perceived as impossible, basically all throughout human history, then was possible by another person 46 days later. And it's actually at the point, uh, as I'm recording this, 11 high school students have actually broken the four minute mile barrier. So you see that once it is done, people now believe they can do it. 